She is just 33 years old, and tonight she is in the fight for her life after being hit by a truck that never stopped. It happened early Saturday morning as Lisette Madrano was leaving a friend's house in Bell Gardens. John Finoli was live at St. Francis Medical Center in Linwood, where Madrano is in surgery tonight. John? Sharon sure, Micah, that's right. Just a tragic situation. This is actually the victim's fifth major surgery since Saturday. Now, as she is hanging on to her life, her family is pleading with the public to come forward with any information about the driver who left her for dead. She doesn't, she didn't, she didn't deserve this. She, she's a good hearted person. Another hit and run in L.A. County, leaving a young woman in critical condition and a family heartbroken. We need answers. We need to find the person that did it. 33-year-old Lisette Medrano was leaving her friend's house located on the 6300 block of Eastern Avenue in Bell Gardens around 1.45 Saturday morning. Surveillance video capturing the moment she walks to her parked car. But before she can open the door, a pickup truck slams into her. Police say the driver then sideswipes the victim's car and another unoccupied vehicle before fleeing the scene. They should have stopped. She's not an animal. She was just left there. Fortunately, police patrolling the area spotted Medrano lying in the street shortly after the collision and called paramedics. Her legs are shattered. She has a sliced liver. Her lungs collapsed, her kidneys. They removed part of her intestine. And today she's going through her fifth surgery. Investigators now on the hunt for a white pickup truck, which police say appears to have a makeshift wooden bed. After hitting Medrano, the suspect's brake lights are seen briefly lighting up, indicating the driver knew a crash occurred, but made no attempt to stop and render aid. We need you guys to keep sharing the video. We need all the support we can get. Um, our family's really broken. So we're asking you just please come forward or if anyone has anything to to say, any answers, any information, please, we really, we really need you guys. All right, and anyone with information is asked to contact Bell Gardens Police. As we mentioned at the top of this report, the victim is hanging on for her life. The family has set up a GoFundMe to help pay for medical bills and other expenses. If you'd like to donate, you can find a link under this story on our website, KTLA.com.